Alrighty, let's get started. So once again, my croaky voice, it's getting better. No, I don't normally sound like this. Bear with me. But anyway, this video, I'm going to show you how to clean your chalk couture transfers. It'll be really fast and simple. If you haven't heard much about chalk couture, I'm going to have some links for you in the description box and pin a comment. Please check out those links. But anyway, what you need is a pan of water. I've got this uh, roasting pan from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also have over here a pile of paper towels. You're also going to need disinfectant wipes. You can use Lysol brand. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Don't use baby wipes or face wipes because they have oils in them and other additives and whatnot. That's going to leave a film on your transfer. So use disinfectant wipes. The scent really doesn't matter. I've tried a bunch of different scents. I've not had a problem with any of them. So first off, this is warm water, not hot, not cold, comfortably warm. And these are the transfers that I just used in the previous video. I'm just going to take them, sticky side down. It don't matter. I'm just going to set them in this water. Let me move it over here so that y'all can see. And you can use your fingers just to clean the chalk paste off like that. Now, if if the chalk paste has glue has glued, oh my god! If the chalk paste has dried on here a little bit, you could take a paper towel or one of those disinfectant wipes and kind of get in there with it. You know, just really wipe it off. Now, there's going to be some discoloration of your transfer. Um, you know, depending on the, the deeper colors of the paste that you use. So it's not that you're not completely cleaning the paste off. It will discolor them just a little bit. So don't worry about that. See, I'm just very gently wiping the transfer of this paper towel. I'm not really applying hardly any pressure at all. I'm going to shake them off. And I'm going to lay them on the paper towel with the sticky side up. Okay. Don't wipe the sticky side with a paper towel, please, because then you're going to get fuzzies and, and little pieces of it all over the place. Don't worry about it not being sticky again, because I'm going to show you how to make it sticky. And even in the water, it still feels a little bit sticky. But see how I'm just gently wiping away all the chalk paste. So now I'm going to lay this one onto the paper towel with the other one. Let me try to move this out of the way a little bit. Watch me dump it in the floor, y'all. That's what I've been waiting on myself to do is dumping it in the floor. That'll be well, I need to mop in here anyway. I could get up some of this glitter I spilled the other day. So now this is two disinfectant wipes. Usually only use one, but hey, two came out and who am I to split somebody up? Take this and just gently, don't scrub it, just gently wipe across the back like that. And once again, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. These disaffected wipes are going to clean away any debris, any film that may have come off the um, whatever you stuck them to. <laughs> and because they were sitting in the water, with the floating chalk paste remnants, <laughs> it may have stuck to it. So, you know, I'm just going to wipe it like this to get the bulk of that off. And then I'm going to let these sit here and dry. Now, this is just me. Once they're fully dry, I take a wipe once again and go over them a second time. Just to make sure that I've got all of the goopies and the nasties off of them. Because if you don't do that, and then you go to stick it on another surface, it's not going to adhere very well. And your chalk paste is going to kind of like ooze out, you know, under the edges. And you won't get a nice, crisp picture. So, that's all there is to cleaning these. Now, I'm going to let these dry. Like I said, once they're dry, I'm going to wipe them again just to make sure they're good and clean. And then you want to place them back onto the little pieces of backing that they came on. Shiny side up goes to the sticky side, okay? Don't put it on the dull side. You might have a hard time getting it back off. Sticky side on the shiny side. And that's all there is to it. So if you would, please give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. Links to all of which will be in the description box down below. I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.